First of all, welcome back. And for those of you who have been following along, you'll know that last time uh, we left off, the aircraft had just got off the ground with a high-speed taxi and it had a bit of a firm landing and we did some damage to it. But we've resolved that now and um, we actually have taken some weight off the nose and increased the uh, elevator span to give us a little bit more lift in the nose and hopefully uh, getting closer to having a comfortable flying aircraft. Um, still keeping in mind that this ex-NASA engineer that I had had told us that we we're going to have a big pitching moment with the fuselage, so we're still wary of that happening and, and having the aircraft become uncontrollable. So here we are out on Friday and a beautiful day um, in the afternoon. And um, so Jeff's just going to taxi up here and, and just get a feel again for the aircraft. And I basically said to him this time, you know, when we get down to midfield with full power, um, if the nose even slightly comes off, just go for it. I don't want to, you know, just get it airborne and then have it in the ground again. Um, and I really wanted to get some more data to see how it was going to perform in the air. Um, we we thought it would be better than before um, because of the changes that we made, but um, you know, still keeping in mind that the ex NASA engineer had mentioned that this fuselage was going to create a big pitching moment, which would have had the aircraft, you know, pitching nose up uncontrollably. Uh, as you can see here, it did have trouble getting off the ground initially. It just one little bounce on the nose gear, and it got off and. And I didn't really realize at the time, but Jeff is holding full elevator here, so he really doesn't have any uh, any uh, pitch control at all. And he's just flying it there pretty much with full power. And you can imagine that the, the drag that's being created by the elevator because it's full down. So I just said to him, you know, go around um, a couple of times uh, just so we can get some footage and so we have some more information. So here we went around the first time, and uh, you'll see coming around just to do a bit of a flyby here again he's holding full elevator it's flying fairly well um, but you see it's rocking there a little bit and I think that maybe had to do with the fact that the that the uh, foreplane is almost stalling and so he just came around again and you know at this point you know Jeff just wants to get it on the ground in one piece so he's making a, a wide approach here to bring it down Again, just full elevator, and you can imagine uh, not having any pitch control. What are you going to do? <laughs> You're just going to do your best, right? So uh, he brings it around here and actually doing a pretty good job, really. I mean, you know, Jeff has 50 years of experience in RC models, so I'm not worried about him. I got the best pilot at the controls here, and we're just hoping that we don't, you know, get a lot of damage to the aircraft here. And bring it in, he decides to bring it in over the grass, which is a good choice. And it doesn't have any pitch control, so it has to put it in the grass there. So fortunately, um, there wasn't any damage to the airframe, only the landing gear legs were bent, and that's easy enough for us to fix. So um, the next step now is to take all this data and figure out exactly the best way for us to get this thing flying uh, correctly. Okay, so I spent all of yesterday putting uh, the numbers that we had from exactly what the CG was and, you know, all of the areas, wing areas and everything back into the spreadsheet here and proving um, of why it's flying the way it's flying. And it turns out that as far as I can tell, the fuselage isn't having any adverse effects. It's not generating uh, any substantial lift in level flight. It probably generates a little bit of lift with nose up, uh, but not in level flight. So... Uh, now I can actually um, use the exact wing areas here to calculate exactly how big that foreplane needs to be. And that's exactly what I've done here. And so we'll be using the CNC now to, to mill out a new uh, foreplane and actually going to use a slightly higher lift airfoil as well. So that will help as well. So that's the next step. Get that milled up and get it back on the aircraft and get it flying. And I think we should be looking pretty good after that. So stay tuned.